Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Our top story, a Campbell River man is lucky to be alive after a small plane crash northwest of Vernon. The man had been traveling to the area from Fort Chippewa, Alberta, with a stopover in Prince George when he had engine trouble and lost altitude. He was a bit shocky, but he, he was up and coherent. He had uh, removed the gas cans from his plane, shut the fuel off to the engine, and he, in, when he first glanced, he was in good shape. A couple of cuts to the head and that was about it. The man was able to walk away from the incident and suffered only minor injuries, while the plane was extensively damaged. Four people were taken to hospital after a serious crash closed Highway 97 near Vernon on Thursday. An SUV hit the end of the median, crossed the center line and struck a southbound truck pulling a trailer. A family of three from Alberta were inside of the truck at the time, which ended up on the roof in the ditch. On the same day, fire officials were investigating an early morning blaze on Pottery Road in Vernon. Nearly 200 bales of hay, several vehicles and a travel trailer were destroyed. A woman sleeping in her trailer narrowly escaped the flames with her animals by her side. She basically just got out of there within minutes and uh, her pajamas and nothing. Everything she owns is basically there. It's demolished. I'm, I'm numb from the whole experience of the idea that I could have lost my friend. The cause of the fire has not been determined and officials did not comment on whether the blaze is suspicious or linked to the recent string of arsons in the city. In the South Okanagan near Kalidin, a log home was destroyed in a Wednesday night blaze. The fire spread into the bush and trees, calling for forestry to be sent to the scene. Neighbours heard popping and crackling around 11 p.m. It is not believed anyone was living inside the home at the time. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. A parachutist who slammed into a house in Vernon believes he may have passed out because his leg straps were too tight. The West Kelowna man had been skydiving after a full day of instruction at Okanagan Skydive. Um, this particular gentleman had um, a couple hundred skydives in the military several years before, but had been very uncurrent and wanted to get back involved in the sport. And so this was his first jump back in, I believe, a decade or two. The man was taken to hospital. The house appears to have minor damage and no one was home at the time of the incident. The highly controversial Boonstock Festival takes place this weekend in Penticton with no liquor license. The denial of the liquor license meant the event lost support of their biggest sponsor, Bacardi. Safety concerns and poor planning were at the top of the list for reasons the license was denied. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.